Hello there, my Leo Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Leo? You can ring my bell. I ring my bell. Leos. What's up, Leos? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful collective. Uh, Leo collective. Ooh. You're cutting out contracts. You got your back to something. Or someone's got their back to you. Something's going on here. Something's going on here. Now, someone could be talking shit about you behind your back as well. Ace of Wands. Uh, you could be uh, signing new contracts, getting involved. Maybe a uh, new house, new job, new something. Uh, I do see you signing some contracts or the possibility for signing new contracts. Oh, with that Queen of Swords with the back to it. If you're getting into something, maybe have a lawyer look over it, okay? Uh, be careful who you get into contracts with. I'm going to explain why that queen, the queen of swords had the back. If you're trying to do something, if you're not aware of what the fuck you're doing, you better get it a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Not a one's energy at the bottom of the deck. Quick communication. The fool here. The tower. Yeah. Uh, watch any connections that you get involved with right now. Three of Cups. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Don't go foolishly into a situation, a contract, an agreement, until you realize what exactly is involved. Uh, damn, Leo, this almost feels like uh, people, people around you could be hoping that you do this. Watch your connections. Watch your connections. Someone could be trying to get near you or close to you to kind of disrupt what you've got going on, to throw some sort of um, energy at you, okay? You see them two people falling from that uh, tower, right? And then we got three people over here celebrating. So, Leos, I don't know what your situation is. Uh, be very mindful. Be very mindful. The Fool, the Tower, the Ace of Swords. What did I tell you? Don't sign any contracts. Don't get into any situation that you're not fully aware of what the hell it is you're doing. The Tower and the Three of Cups is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords plus that Ace of Swords is the Three of Swords energy. You need to be very careful right now. Conflict. Mental conflict. Um... Oh, Leo's that wind picked up. What's above this? I feel like there's a little more at play here. I don't know if you're aware of it or not. Or maybe you're trying to uh, hold off on something, Leo, and go your separate ways. But I don't think you're going to be able to. Emperor energy here. Uh, -huh. the emperor. Aries, Seven of Cups, Confusion Energy. Don't sign anything you're not aware of, Leo. And between the Emperor and the Seven of Cups, we got Temperance. Yeah, you need to sit your ass down and educate. You need to sit your ass down right now and get educated, Leo. Y'all, I gotta tell you, that wind just fucking picked up, Leo. It's on your all's weed, uh, reading. Uh, when's a change coming in? Um... Any contracts, and contracts, uh, it might be something that you sign, or it could just be contract dealing with people. Uh, I think there's some confusion here. You really need to set your ass down and, and figure out what the hell you got going on. Sagittarius here. Um, sweet Jesus. I think you can get a good resolution from this. You got to sit down and figure out your emotions, though. 
the emperor, don't don't be so stubborn and think that you're right. Sometimes the emperor thinks that they know the best, right? So if you're getting advice, uh, pay heed to it. If you're too afraid to ask for advice, uh, that could be your problem. You need to get your emotions under control. Uh, Leos, for some of you, that sort of tower card there, someone could be trying to get you to, to get a little disruptive, okay? Uh, that could almost be a volcano type energy as well. So, Leos, you need to sit your ass down right now and be calm as fuck, okay? Oh, yeah, I just looked over and seen Kitty. That's always a good sign, Leo. Kitty's right here beside me. Yeah, this is the energy that you manifest in. This could go either way. This is like, take the high road. Take the high road here, Leo. But you're going to have to drop the fucking ego. Drop the ego. Uh, get over your emotions. Get yourself balanced. Um, down here, you could have some harsh words, some conflict come up that leaves you stuck and stagnant. Or you can do the healing on yourself to move forward into a positive energy. Now you're manifesting, Leo's. So the energy you, you put on this, the energy you put towards this, uh, you need to take the high road. Uh, for some of you, I'm thinking drop the ego. Uh, if you don't know something, get educated on it. Look it up. If you're emotionally conflicted, you need to get that energy sort of tempered. Oh, yeah, you know, that Sagittarius energy. You need to kind of take it down a few notches here, Leo. Uh, you might think you're the emperor, but don't, uh, don't, it's like, don't get too big for your britches. Don't, don't, don't let something come in and kind of disrupt you. Because it feels like there's, there's conflict that someone wants to bring in. Some of you, someone just wants to get you all riled up. Yeah, you're manifesting a good positive future. Uh, keep manifesting in that energy. There's a, there's a good resolution here. If you drop the fucking ego, get your emotions under control so you're not making decisions based on emotions, right? It's not going to be uh, too much love, too much hate. You're like fucking balanced. Balanced. Temper your, uh, temper your energies. Temper your um, emotions. Or you could be stuck in a situation of just a lot of conflict. Um... But I feel like this conflict, if you've got some conflict going on, it's simply because you're not addressing it. With that Two of Swords energy, you could just be in that stubborn energy that you're in, uh, refusing to see something, and just, just keeps this sort of toxic cycle going. Uh, this could be uh, in your personal life. This could just be what you, know, you struggle with in your head, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. Very important you keep a cool head right now, too. Okay, so I just noticed that in the back of that temperance card, you see, we got a, tor uh, a tornado. We got a uh, volcano there erupting. You, you need to drop the ego, get your shit grounded. Okay, whatever you're going through, keep manifesting positive energy. Okay, you're, you're manifesting now. The energy that you're in is the energy you're manifesting in. So you got to get out of this, this sort of blinders up, not paying attention, not wanting to make any decisions. That's just throwing conflict in your situation. Bottom of the deck is what? Knight of Wands with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. And the World card. With the King of Pentacles. I feel you have a happy resolution coming in if you can kind of temper your energy right now. This feels like drop the ego. Get out of any emotional confusion that you have. If you're too up, too much in your ego, you maybe you're beating yourself up, thinking that woulda, shoulda, coulda type energy, and you need to start maybe loving yourself a little more, think talking more positive on yourself. There is a lot of communication. Knight of Wands here with the Knight of Swords, um, Two of Cups, the World card, and the King of Pentacles. This can be a very good collaborative type energy, a really good partnership. Uh, that allows for stability and like new beginnings. But I really feel you're going to have to decide what the hell you want to do. King of Pentacles energy can be very stubborn too. 
Uh, that could be what your issue is. Uh, drop the ego. Quit being stubborn and look at something from a different perspective. Look at something from a different angle. Uh, Ten of Wands here with the Hierophant. Uh, what burdens are you taking on here? Seven of Wands. Choose you. Choose you. Um, I also feel like this is if this could be a religious burden that you're carrying as well. Some of you could be dealing with your spirituality, and that could be like weighing a little heavy on your mind. And by spirituality, just you know, whatever your belief system is, whatever is uh, whatever is keeping you held up. Seven of Wands here. I feel like this, uh, you know. I was telling Taurus to take it to God. Uh, Leos, I almost feel like you guys need to as well. Uh, let spirit bring in that balance. But some of y'all could have to leave a situation out in the cold. Leave somebody out in the cold. You need to leave your ego out in the cold. I really feel this is an ego problem. And Leos, I'm not dissing you. I'm not, I'm not dissing anybody when I say that. But don't be too proud. If you need to get help, get the help. If you're feeling stuck and stagnant in a situation, get the help that you need. You need to get your emotions grounded first off. So you're not operating out of, uh, you know, excessive love or excessive hate. You need to temper that energy, uh, temper your emotions. So that way you're, you're not like triggered by anything. You know what I mean? You can look at things logically. Uh, from an emotional side plus a, uh, you know, a more realistic side. Uh, take it to God. I see a good partnership forming, uh, a good opportunity coming in. Now, I don't know if this is love or just life, uh, uh, Leos, to be quite honest with you. I think you could have two options come in. One could be a uh, fire sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or uh, a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, we got the oh, we got the hierophant there, so that is Earth sign uh, energy, right? It, it's a Taurus at least. Um, drop the ego, and I think you're going to find a peaceful resolution. Because I think that's the burden. That could be the burden that's holding you up and from moving forward. Seven of Wands. I do feel this is spiritual protection. I'm going to have to say that, Leos. I feel you are being protected from spirit uh, as you're going through a situation. So don't feel forsaken. That's why I really feel this could be a religious type journey as well, a spiritual battle. You are being protected while you're learning this, but this feels like definitely a life lesson. You need to temper yourself. Temper yourself. Some of you could have some sort of... Uh, um, combative energy come your way, text, communication, something along that lines. You need to keep your cool, though, Leo. I mean, you need to keep your fucking cool. It's like drop the fucking ego, okay? Uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to get through this situation, especially if you're feeling like it's a spiritual journey, uh, some sort of spiritual uh, crisis of consciousness. Spirit is helping you here, so pray on it. Take it to God. Take it to God. Pray on it. Then, Leos, I like that, but it seems like you're going to have to be the one to do the work. You're just going to have to get yourself grounded. Uh, get Make peace with yourself. Make peace with yourself. What are you manifesting? Keep manifesting good. Keep staying positive. Uh, the tower energy, I do feel, could be someone trying to come in and get you to lose your cool, okay? So, Leos, drop the fucking ego, okay? Uh, I know, easier said than done. That ego death gets us all. Uh, but, you know, if someone knows how to light that, uh, uh, what do you want? The wick, they're gonna light that wick. Take it to God. Take it to God, okay? <laughs> You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. 
<laughs> take it to God. I really feel that that's that what you need to do. You need to kind of temper uh, your energies, get yourself grounded, calm, cool, collected, whatever you need to do. Pray on it. You do have some <laughs> spiritual protection there, so don't feel like you're being forsaken. But you're going to have to do some work. This feels like your inner work. Uh, dropping the ego, the ego death, man. It gets everybody, but once you get past that energy, life is so much better. Uh, good luck with that, Leos. Peace, love, and light.